Hi Libra, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These messages are general, so check your other placements if the messages don't quite resonate with you. We have turn on your love lights, okay? It says sometimes the best way to remain sane is to love like crazy. Works for me. What it's saying is send them love, Libra. I'm already sensing that maybe someone did you wrong or, you know, you guys are not seeing eye to eye. It's just saying send love, don't, you know, don't get mad and send, you know, bad energy. <laughs> send love and you will receive, all right? What's going on with Libra in love? What is going on with Libra in love? You have to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. You have romantic feelings. Your real, your feelings are real and worth exploring. I'm getting the vibe. Some of you may have feelings for someone else. Like you might be trying to free yourself from someone, and you have feelings for someone else. Some of you it could be the same person. I just got that vibe, so I had to mention it. We have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. There's someone that you got feelings for and you're attracted to, but. Some of you, it's like you may, you may have fears holding you back since stay optimistic about your love life is here. It says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So some of you might need to free yourself from negative thinking. It doesn't have to be freeing yourself from a person. Your thoughts could be blocking you here. We have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. Some of you are getting to know someone new. It's very possible. Someone you have a lot of chemistry with, but it doesn't have to be a new love. What is this person's energy? They could be a Leo. What's this person's energy towards Libra? They're waiting for you. Libra, you have them waiting. I don't know. I get the vibe that they're waiting to hear about how you feel about them. So some of you are not necessarily separated or avoiding them, but they're kind of waiting to see what happens here with you and them. Um, Venus Swords could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's Libra's energy towards this person? Libra's energy towards this person. Okay, two of cups, lovers. These are, these are the two cards that are just everything. <laughs> the two of cups and the lovers. So yes, your feelings are really worth exploring. That's true. Chemistry, strong magnetic attraction here. That's true. You like this person. You love this person. You feel like this is your soulmate. Um... I'm hearing, can I get amen for some reason? I don't know who that relates to, but <laughs> I had to say it because <laughs> I heard it loud and clear. But we have, um, with this three of wands, I really feel like they're waiting to know how you feel. Either that or they're waiting for you to travel towards them, some of you. What's the energy of this connection? What's the energy of this connection? Libra. Ten of Wands. Mm. Someone's holding back. Someone has baggage. Someone needs to free themselves from the baggage they have. Could be you, could be them. But someone's also holding back here, holding back on expressing their feelings. You could be dealing with the Aries, some of you. It is opposite to Libra. Um, let me get some messages from this. Libra. Well, these are brand new and slippery, so <laughs> bear with me. 
Show me something for Libra and their situation. Libra and their situation or relationship with this person. Going forward. The light is okay. I'm gonna say these cards usually fly. One more card for Libra. Okay, wow. Look at that ring. Oh my gosh. Isn't that a beautiful ring? Could be dealing with a Pisces here. We got the fishes. We got door number one and door number two. Oh, some of you are pregnant. Some of you are pregnant because <clears throat> I'm seeing the fish and the boy and girl color. Okay, so gender. Is it boy, is it a girl? Some of you are pregnant, but that's not the message here. I do see Pisces energy with the fishes. I do see the need to make a decision with the two doors. Some of you are needing to free yourself. Like you're exiting a, a, a relationship to enter a new one. Some of you is what I'm getting, but you have to decide if you want to stay with that person or go with the new person. Okay, but the fishes are also symbolism. New beginnings. Okay. Intuition. This card. The clock is ticking, Libra. You gotta make a decision soon. Very soon. But what I'm getting from this card. There's so much going on in this card. I'm trying to get messages for you. I see fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this ring here, for some of you, and I'm drawn to the uh, romantic feelings card. There could be engagement or it could be that it doesn't have to happen very soon. But it could mean that this is the one that you do end up engaged to. So. I feel like this is a good situation. It's just that someone needs to release some kind of burden. And someone needs to show the other person how they really feel. Okay. So let me get to the main spread. See what's going on. Okay, Libra. What is going on with Libra? What can they expect in love? Do you expect in love? What can Libra expect in love? Going forward, next few days and weeks. Hmm. This person sees you as everything. Okay, they're seeing you as a nine of pentacles. It could be that they kind of watch you online. Not in a creepy way, more in like a, a admiration type way. Admiring. Um, they're seeing you in a really good position. They're seeing the relationship um, as something that could really grow, especially if you guys are a new couple. It could be a Leo, strong Leo energy here for some of you. Could be a fellow Libra. Okay, the issue, what's blocking is this Six of Pentacles. You see, when I said some of you have to make a decision, um, make a choice and make it soon, because some of you might have still have the person from the past on your case while trying to move forward. Some of you may not have even met this person yet. Maybe you'll meet them soon and you'll have this person from the past still on your back while trying to move forward with a new crush, someone you feel a lot of chemistry with and have feelings for quite quickly. 
but this person does wish for a successful relationship, one that is admired by many. They also have, um, they have a weakness. The strength card being in the position of fears. They kind of fear themselves or fear, fear their own potential, power. Um, this is someone, for some of you, this person kind of has a lot of self-doubt. For some of you, if you are giving this person competition, they're, they're, they might give up on you. They might not compete for you. And this, this could also be the ex giving up on the competition when you meet someone new but someone is backing down from having to wait for you to make a decision someone is saying you know i'm not an option we have the eight of wands in the position of what you need to know something is coming towards you and fast so it could be that you, you're going to meet this person if you haven't met them already and that's if you're sitting there thinking who is this person I don't have someone new. There could be someone coming in really quickly. That's what you need to know. Okay, but if you already know about this person, then it could it could move really quickly. As you see, a ring is there. It could be an engagement ring, or it could be that they just start buying you gifts very soon. The outcome is the Ace of Wands, which means there's a new beginning. I don't know who you're gonna choose. But you're going to choose someone. Um, the thing is though, Libra, you're kind of taking what the universe has given you for granted. It's almost like some of you, the universe is handing you a great person, or will be. And you're not really seeing the good in the person because you may have another option that you're considering as well. So it's like looking for what's standing right in front of you. The good thing is that you don't end up with nothing because usually people who don't take the offer, they usually end up with nothing, but you're not. You're going to end up with something because we have the Ace of Wands. It's just that you need to make the choice. There is someone who's really into you and you feel a lot of chemistry with. Whoever it is you feel the chemistry with, that's the person, okay? But... There could have been someone in the past that did you wrong. You may still be connected to them because of the history. For some of you, this could be them that I'm speaking about and not a new person. It depends on who it sounds like to you because I don't know who you're dealing with. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing, okay? Let me see what we got here. Let me clarify. I need to clarify this strength card. Because I don't know what this person is afraid of. Why is the strength card? Why is the strength card here? Something about the childhood with this person. Something happened in the childhood. They may have been hurt. Also, their parents divorce. So here it could even be something as small as a as a fear of something. I don't know if they're afraid of dogs or animals or something. It's just something a little bit odd about this strength card and where it's positioned. Um, I also feel like it's just their self doubt. They could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, why the why the Five of Swords? Why the Five of Swords? Someone gives up. Strength in reverse. Someone does not like the competition. Someone doesn't like competition. Queen of Pentacles. They like to just be comfortable. Comfortable. Um, someone who doesn't like competition might walk away from you, might give up the fight if you're giving them competition. Why the eight of pent No, why the eight of wands? The position of what Libra needs to know. What's 
up with the eight of wands. You see that? Do you see that? Someone is coming towards you with the Ace of Cups, but we got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There could be an ending of a marriage or a relationship. Some of you, as I said, some of you are moving from one to the other, making a transition. There's a new love in the making very soon. And some of you are going through a divorce and it's like you met someone before the, the divorce is even final or you're going to meet someone before the divorce is even final or before say you're not married but you still have this person's clothes at your house before they can even come for their clothes you found someone new um that story i'm seeing for a lot of you but not for everyone let me see this ace of wands what's going on with the ace of wands queen of swords in reverse Empress, King of Swords, in reverse, King of Wands. There's a lot of people here. A lot of people. Some people are upset. Some people are upset. But these, this King and Queen, King and Queen of Swords are in reverse together. That is that. That this could be some. This could be some upset parents. Again, with the Empress's pregnancy, is what I was seeing before. Mm. I see growth and change in a new beginning, but I see some upset people. Some people, I don't know if they just don't want you guys to be together or what, but they seem upset. Okay, but we've got the King of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that could be your person. For some of you but that it just seems like there's people here who kind of forbid the relationship or hate on the relationship it could be your ex it could be their ex it could be family members there's some people disagreeing here and now I'm being drawn to this card so it's like the people who who disagree just send them love and light as it says because sometimes it's best sometimes the best way to remain sane is to love like crazy just send them love and move on you know it's your relationship your life let's see what we got here soul cage escape from captivity restriction water heaviness lifts burdens are cast away weightlessness i do see moving forward Moving forward with this, moving on from the past. Time out, awareness, contemplation, solitude, time alone. It's me you're taking a break before all this happens. Sadness and isolation. Release. Okay, too many cards here. Spread your wings. Nothing's impossible. We have simply love, you see? Just send love. Be the positive one. Be the bigger person if people come at you. But yeah, this is what I'm seeing. Your outcome, you're not going to end up alone, but you do have a good option right in front of you. You definitely have to make a decision. I don't see you ending up disappointed, but it is important to decide, you know, what you want. I know not all of you are dealing with multiple people, but some of you might meet someone where the chemistry is undeniable and you're just like, wow, what do I do now? Who do I choose? <laughs> okay, so at least um, there is commitment with whoever you choose. I see the possibility of that. Okay, so... Libra, this is what I'm seeing for you. Check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. 
thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.